What's up, everybody? Afro Joe the Wookie here, coming to you at 10 like TIA again, like he always does. Now, this guy that's in front of you, his name is Mayor Edward Zabraki. Brocky? I think I'm pronouncing his last name wrong, but <laughs> this mayor, I thought I'll never hear this from a mayor, and I thought, oh my god, I love this guy. Not in the homosexual way, but in the way that this guy makes a lot of sense. I was watching a and you know, I hate the media, I hate the bullshit, you know, I'm always gonna watch certain shit, just to see what the fuck they got to say, cause I hate, uh, CNN and Fox News, and you know, Dr. Drew's got a show on HLN called Doctor's Call, something like that, and he brought something up about the show he does called 16 and Pregnant, everybody heard of it, and some people know that I bitch to complain about the show 16 Pregnant, glamorizing and promoting teen pregnancy. Well, that's what he thinks. That's what this mayor thinks. This mayor thinks that MTV is promoting teen pregnancy. Thank you, MTV. Now, now Dr. Drew goes on his show talking about, well, the numbers are showing pretty low. Where's the f one thing is, Dr. Drew, where's the fucking proof that? Where's the proof? That's what I'm wondering. That's what the fuck I want. This mayor goes on his show telling him, he says, you're glamorizing teen pregnancies. The schools doesn't want that glamorizing teen pregnancy because they think it's messed up, glorifying, pro well, promoting teen pregnancies, and they think it's wrong. The schools doesn't want MTV to be there so when people have a problem with something in the town what they do they go to the police or go to the mayor the mayor says no MTV may not come in with their cameras to record any damn thing it says well I'm reading here from the Chicago Tribute or whatever it says MTV controversy show 16 and Pregnant is unwelcome in Tinley Park. It's a place on in Illinois, on I think on the outskirts of Chicago. As a village office and school leaders have pushed back against possibly filming in the community. See, they hate it when Tinkley Park's mayor. Heard the show might be shooting at the 8th Avenue train station restaurant. He went, he sent words to the owner of the place. He says, that show cameras will be unwelcome on the property. He says, it's unwelcome on the property. I heard, I've heard wind of it. And that's when I went and said, I don't want any of our village buildings used in it. That's what he said. It's the mayor said. He says, uh, office and at Andrew High School declined this summer to allow MTV's cameras cameras on campus. The principal Bob Knowlton said there was a request made in August for Andrew to allow I think it's a student to allow them to shoot on campus. Regardless, a young lady that might be featuring the show, Nolte said he, we declined that request and have not worked with them or the family any further. Nolte says the family obviously had the rights to make whatever choice they wanted to make regarding to how conduct their family business. But he was not comfortable with filming at the school. See what I'm saying? So they shut it down. A reality show crew could be a distraction on campus, and the show has not has nothing to do with her getting a good education. Nolton says, and I agree. MTV spokesman Melissa Barreto declined comments on local officials showing the show. Look, mainly it's it's like this. They don't want the fucking show on there. They don't want 16 and pregnant there. 
And I agree with the mayor so fucking much about what he had to say about it. The reason why is like this. The mayor's right. He's sitting up there ten like your TA is. I give him I give the mayor more prompts than any other mayor I've ever seen because he clearly stated on Dr. Drew's show that you're promoting teen pregnancy. Instead of sitting up there promoting teen pregnancy on MTV, why don't you promote it in classrooms like sex ed? There was a, uh, you know how like uh, on, on Dr. Drew's show, how Doctor's House Calls or whatever on HLN, there was a, there was a, a black guy on there and he was agreeing with the mayor and it's like uh, I agree with the mayor put it in classes it's, if you wanted to uh, show what teen pregnancy is like why don't you show them giving birth the whole shebang and I kind of thought I was like you know what he's right the mayor and this other guy is right if they was going to show teen pregnancy don't show it on the MTV show don't show it on there because everybody knows Teenagers are going to flock to MTV, VH1, BET, and so on and so forth. You see what I'm saying? Kids are flocking to it. And you heard me, and people know that because I did a video about it that 16 and pregnant is promoting teen pregnancy. And I've, I've had some people write something. It's like, uh, has wrote something about it that some people agreed some people didn't and I bitched and complained I bitched and complained I bitched and complained and it got to a point where it, it got to a point where I thought I got to a point where when I said that I thought I said That it is glamorizing teen pregnancy so much that they think it's okay to show teens what it's like to be pregnant and for me that is wrong to do that to put kids on TV it's gotten to a point where a girl goes on Dr. Phil claiming she wants to get pregnant to go on to go on the uh, uh, 16 pregnant show and it's bad business where kids want to get pregnant just to go on the show if it's getting to a point where kids want to get pregnant to go on the show it shows you that the show is promoting teen pregnancy not scaring the kids away from teen pregnancy because of, <coughs> excuse me, but to sit there and do that is so fucking far-fetched and so wrong and out the way. And the fucked up thing about it is, what the fucked up thing about it is, Dr. Drew sat on his show, show and said, the numbers are low in teen pregnancy. He didn't say where. He didn't say what city. He didn't say what town. He didn't say what county, what state, what country. He said the numbers was down in teen pregnancy. Where is it down in teen pregnancy? It's the question. Where? And what really got me messed all up was is how one of the, the the black guy that was agreeing with the mayor he sits there and he's like but you but if you look at the kids now that was on that show they're getting houses contracts and all this and that models and surgeries and all this and that and then Dr. Drew's trying to say well that's when they got got grown when they got groaning Oh, the snaps. And I look at it like I look at it like this that you that was on your show. 
if you didn't sit, like, one thing is, I knew they was getting paid, because you already know, reality is, reality shows no, there is no reality to it, there's nothing real about it, because all these people are paid actors, the, the mayor actually said that on the show, he says, there are nothing but paid actors on the show, they do get paid by the network, <laughs> and it made me laugh, because I was still prepared to say it on it, he say this shit. I say, you know what? This is some shit that I would say. That's it. Uh, but I have did, like I said, I did a video about the teen pregnancy, and that the video was called that I did it was called Doctor Drew and the MTV MTV promotes teen pregnancy. That was the video, and I did it what like last year or something like that. And all this stuff, man, I've, like, yeah, it's been like a year ago. And I've had people write on, right on here, says, everything you say, like one guy says, everything you say, I agree with. The media needs to stop promoting this shit. It is freaking hard to raise a child. You're not, you're, you're, you're not supposed to have sex out of marriage I think it's just say before marriage it's it's out of the order okay okay push religion guys don't push religion on, on people but this is one of the guys that actually left a comment on it it says if you having sex with someone who isn't wearing a ring who do you freaking say I do then you're going to well like I said this guy is promoting religion but but he kind of agrees with me And it's like I said, it's about it's about these people promoting. It's about Dr. Drew MTV promoting teen pregnancy. It's like what? Why would you do that? Why would you go to a network like MTV to promote? This. Why would you promote this? Well, like like I said, why would you promote this? Why why would you promote teen pregnancy? Why would you try to say, oh, we're trying to scare kids from teen pregnancy? No, you're not. You're actually a, promoting it, but you taste it. But you get a mayor dogging your ass out. You got one person that's a YouTuber that doesn't have a big name dogging your ass out. Even Dr. Phil dogs your ass out. And it's bad. You get Dr. Phil that does a show on ABC dogs your ass out. He says, well, I don't think a girl your age should be getting pregnant just to be on a TV show. He dogs your ass out. And people sitting up there saying that's not pre people sitting up there saying that oh he's not promoting teen pregnancy bullshit. Back when I was a kid, we didn't have shows like Sixteen and Pregnant. Back in the days, in the nineties, I'm twenty nine. Back in the days, in the nineties, MTV only had two reality shows, and that was Road Rules, Real World. Every kid, like, well, every team back then wanted to be on either both of them shows or go to spring break where they was filming and be there. That was it. Or trying to be on the Nickelodeon's game show. Like, you know, because everybody knows MTV owns Nickelodeon. Or be on Nickelodeon's game show. You know, Nickelodeon had them game shows, uh, Double Dare, what would you, this is before ABC took the name, what would you do? Because there was a game show on, on Nickelodeon called, what would you do? These The kids want to go, what would you do? Double Dare, uh, Finders Keepers, Get the Pictures, Guts, Nick Arcade, uh, so on and so forth. <coughs> Excuse me, but... 
we did not want to be on shows like this but now since they promoting teen pregnancy it's just they're promoting teen pregnancy kids wants to be on it on this show and that's how it is it's uh, it's it's like it just it just it, it's just I don't get about this shit about how people can sit there and take up for a show about teen pregnancy. It's not amazing. It's not amazing. It's not a bad show. <coughs> Excuse me, but but they're promoting teen pregnancy. If a mayor of a city calls in and to confront the host of that show about his show about promoting teen pregnancy that's bad business why is it an, why is it an, see this is why I love this mayor not in a homosexual way but for his common sense his fucking common sense the only fucking time I see a public official to confront a damn entertainer right now that's what Dr. Drew is an entertainer Calls into a Dr. Drew's show confronting said you're promoting teen pregnancy. <coughs> Excuse me. Instead of <coughs> instead of instead of you promoting teen pregnancy on MTV, why don't you sit there and show kids in school this kind of shit? He didn't say shit, but he's like, why don't you show the school show this to students in school? Instead of showing it on TV. Because you know, kids will pick up on what they see on TV. And everybody knows, like I know you can't blame the t TV programs for, the TV shows for everything. But they get the, but you got to remember, they get the smallest blame just as well. Parents get the whole 90%. TV shows get 10%. You got to look at that. But you got to remember, man. Parents ain't always gonna be around their kids, but he is. But this man's right. It's not always gonna. It, you can't always sit there and do that kind of shit. Instead of promoting on TV, on MTV, where kids gonna watch them shows, won't you promote it in the classroom? Won't you sit there and grab a a whole tape of one a woman giving birth to a child and say, "This is team. That's what you're gonna be like, ladies." If you get pregnant, you're going to be like that. Show the whole shebang. Like, oh, that's too graphic right there. Fuck it. If they want to lay down and have sex, they grown. If they want to act grown enough to lay down and have sex, they're grown enough to watch a woman push a whole person out of her hoo-ha. Her coochie, her woofer, her lilac, her butt's nest, her pussy, her vagina, her vajayjay, whatever. <coughs> then they can, they can do it. For Mayor Ed Zambrowski, <laughs> Zambrowski, I give you kudos. I give you lots of respect because you were smart enough to sit up there and do the right thing to confront Dr. Drew on his own fucking show. But I'm gonna put the story link in the st in the description box. Let me repeat that. I'm going to put the story link in the in the description box. Check it out. Look in the description box for the video for the article about this about the damn town. But if you look up HLN on YouTube and find that episode of the mayor confronting Dr. Drew, it'll back me up. <laughs> like I said, I, I give kudos to the mayor. 16 pregnant is promoting teen pregnancy. Until then, Dr. Drew, don't tell me that the, the teen pregnancy is going down. Show me that it's going down. 
I want to walk out into the world where I don't see a damn night, a damn thirteen-year-old pregnant. I don't want to see a damn fourteen-year-old raising kids. You know what I want to? You know what I want to see? I want to see somebody in their twenties, their mid twenties, pregnant raising a fucking child. Now the damn teenager is bad enough that you can hear stories about a damn nine-year-old getting pregnant. For real. And this has been Afro Joe, 10 Nugget T.I. is. <coughs> 10 Nugget T.I. is. Once again, like always. Like I said, I'm going to say this before I go. I'm doing, I want to do an idea video. Tell me if I, I like, look, if y'all want me to do an idea video, say yes, do an idea video because I want to hear what you got. I want to hear what the ideas you guys because the idea videos is where I'm doing a video about the ideas I have to make better videos. That's how it is. That's my ideas for idea videos where I do one video and I give out a bunch of ideas for what kind of videos that y'all want me to do. You pick the idea of the video that you want me to do and I'll do it. If you think I should do that kind of idea video, do name off some ideas of what should I do for a great video, to, then I'll do it. But like I said, follow me on Twitter at Afrojo the Wookie. So, uh, follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Junior 2, CeeLo Junior 3. And tell me what you think about these. Do you, do you think that the mayor did the right thing? Or, did, or do you think the mayor made a mistake? Tell me what you think.